Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told out of Voice of Radio, so today, we need to take a look at a whole bunch of Pokemon merch, which is going to be coming around, well, in the not-too-distant future. Now, this is coming out on February the 25th, which you should recognize as a release date for Battle Region. And yes, I am still using a placeholder booster box image for Battle Region. Because we still don't have the booster box booster pack image for Battle Region. As I predicted on this channel, I'm recording this on Thursday. It should be going up on Thursday. And it is overwhelmingly likely, as far as I'm concerned at least, that we will finally get to see the booster pack tomorrow. Because next week we are expecting the full reveal of every card from the set, not including secret rares. So basically they've kind of got to show us tomorrow, because Japan does these reveals on a Friday. So I for one am rather excited about that. But for now, unfortunately, we still have to use the placeholder image. But we got a bunch of merch coming around with Battle Region, as we do with every set. A bunch of it has gone and been revealed. So let's start off having a look at Greninja. Now... Something which I've mentioned before in these videos, but I do think bears repeating. When we see this merch that comes along to coincide with the release of a set, it always does properly coincide with the release of the set. So one of the things that is coming around in Battle Region, one of the big headlines from the set, is the debut of sparkling Pokemon, which are Greninja and Horlucha. As it stands at the moment, no Horlucha merch has gone and been revealed. I very, very much hope it is in the future. I suppose that's one of those wait-and-see scenarios. I'm crossing my fingers, because as a Pokemon, I like Horlucha more than I like Greninja. I've got a little Horlucha model on my desk next to my Mamoswine. Don't have a Greninja. But this is actually really cool. Now, we do have the deck box and sleeves, as you might expect. And you notice the art is fairly similar on them. It's, it's the same picture, kind of. But the, the deck box is a little more zoomed in, so to speak. But then again, you've got your non-sparkling Greninja, your non-shiny ones on the side of the box there, which is very cool. But then we have a playmat as well. And the playmat essentially just shows you the whole image. You've got a sparkling Greninja, which we know are shiny colours, running up a building, being flanked on either side by other Greninja. It is actually a very, very cool piece of artwork. And I do keep telling myself I'm going to stop buying all this merch when it comes out in Japan. I kind of want to this time, but man, this is a very, very cool playmat. Now, price-wise, it is what we would expect. These things do tend to be generally pretty uniform, which is quite nice. The deck box, and they still are an absurdly cheap 398 yen. These deck boxes in Japan are super cheap. 398 yen comes around as like $3.40 or £2.50. It's very, 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 very cheap. As for the sleeves, they are coming in at 792 yen, which is still, for what you're getting and how cool these sleeves are, kind of amazing. That works out at $6.80 or £5, pretty much dead on. And then your playmat is a little more expensive, as you might expect. That's 2,750 yen, which comes in at around about $24.00 or £17.50, which I know is a bit more expensive, but these are high-quality playmats, and they are absolutely beautiful. And Greninja gets to be the winner here, because from what we've seen, it's the only thing that's been revealed that has a playmat as well. Although, again, you've got the same art. If we compare that to, for instance, the writer report sleeves and deck box, which did appear in the mail for me this week, and I'm delighted they are absolutely beautiful, they actually had very different artwork on the deck box and sleeves. Same artist, same style, very different pictures. Greninja is not the same here. Now, moving on, we do have Starmie coming in here as well. And it's Starmie and Misty. Although we do have Politoed and Lapras in the background as well. Because these are Misty sleeves at the end of the day. And this, these, these might be the sleeves that make me break my promise this time. And go and order stuff I said I wouldn't order. These sleeves are wonderful. Not only are these sleeves wonderful. But they are clearly here. Because Misty is getting a character rare with Starmie V. In the set. In Battle Region. And, and I'm not the only one that thinks this. 
It is just phenomenal. Like, of the character rares and super rares they've revealed from Battle Region so far, this is clearly the best of them. The art is absolutely proper job over the top phenomenal, and I do need to mention that you might recognise this a little bit, because the artwork is basically exactly the same, I mean, stylistically, very, very much in line with the Guru, which was in VMAX Climax. So clearly we've got the same artist here. It's one of those, you don't need me to tell you it's the same artist. You kind of know the second you look at them. But in terms of character rares, I really hope Kamiyama keeps getting all these character rares. They are absolutely stunning. But we have sleeves from a different artist, different pose, all of that. But if you like Starmy, because it's called Star Ross in French and it's got your name in, like I do, and you like Misty because she's a cool water trainer and you grew up near the water, like I did. Seriously, I grew up like right next to the beach. It was amazing. Then clearly, these are very cool sleeves. Plus, how relaxed does that polytoed look? It's amazing. Not going to be talking about prices unless they're any different because we don't need to repeat ourselves. In other sleeves news, we are getting Cleaver sleeves, which of course does then become the first Pokemon that debuted in Legends Arceus to get their own set of sleeves in the TCG. Don't know if that's something to be particularly boastful about, but it's there. It's a thing. And obviously, Cleaver is one of those Pokemon not only making its debut in this particular set, but also getting a lovely character rare as well, which is rather lovely. So if you're a fan of Legends Arceus, or you're a fan of Cleaver, this is something you might be wanting to get a little bit excited about. I'm not particularly fussed one way or the other. If I do put an order in, I don't think I'm going to be getting these sleeves. It doesn't feature the character from the character red, just the Pokemon, unlike the Starmie sleeves, but these are still pretty gosh darn cool nonetheless. Now, Lucario isn't actually in Battle Region, as far as I'm aware. I don't actually know. It might be. But as far as we've been shown, Lucario isn't in Battle Region. But we still do get the new sleeves and a new deck box, because, of course, the Lucario V Star deck is coming out in Japan as well. So this merch comes around not because Lucario's in the set, but because Lucario gets its own deck. Do bear in mind that we are getting Lucario as its own standalone box at V-Star Premium Collection coming around in a couple of months' time. With the full art Lucario V, and as a side note, they still haven't actually said how Japan is getting this full art Lucario V. Presumably it's got to be in the deck, but the question is whether the full art is in every deck or whether it's seeded into decks randomly. That is one of those wait and see scenarios. But there is a deck box and set of sleeves featuring Lucario coming around to celebrate this. And like we saw on Greninja, what we've got here is essentially the same artwork, but transposed onto a deck box as well as onto sleeves. And once again, I'm not a huge Lucario fan. And I'm not, you know, the artwork is cool, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. But this is another one that I can kind of take it or leave it. Sleeves and deck box cost the same as we said before. And it's lovely, don't get me wrong. But I don't think this is one of the ones I'm going to be rushing out for. And then we get Darkrai. And once again, I should mention Darkrai is the other V-Star deck, which is coming around along with Lucario. I did rank the V-Star the other day. And I told you that Darkrai, of all the ones we've seen so far, is the best of the V-Stars. And I also told you it is the only one we don't know where it's coming. Realistically, it is almost certainly going to be in our Sword and Shield 10 set. The set that comes around after Brilliant Stars. It's not been revealed yet, but it's going to be our May set. But we don't actually know that. We are just assuming, because at this stage, where else would it be coming? And once again, we have sleeves and a deck box. And once again, we got the same design on both the sleeves and the deck box. Although the extra space on the deck box does show you a little bit more of the image, the city, the spookiness. And I, for one, am all in favour. I'm not the huge Darkrai fan many people are. In the TCG, because Darkrai has been so good several times, it has made a whole bunch of people whose favourite Pokemon is Darkrai purely because they're so... Well, they've got these memories of playing with Darkrai, which is really cool. The thing is, I think that's going to keep going, because I've told you how good Darkrai V-Star is. I've told you how I believe it to be the best of the V-Stars we've seen so far. So, I think we're going to be seeing more Darkrai fans along the way, and that means that these sleeves are going to be pretty gosh darn popular. 
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There may well be more coming out on the 25th that is revealed later. If it is, I will, of course, share it with you lovely ladies and gentlemen. But for now, we know what's coming, and it looks cool. For me, it is all about the misty sleeves, but I'll be honest with you, I kind of want that Greninja playmat as well. It's pretty gosh darn beautiful. But I want to know what you think. So let me know in the comment section, would you? Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, or you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.